हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोडिंग शिक्षा सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट हाउ टू इंप्लीमेंट द फाइव इज ट्विटर ऑथेंटिकेशन इन योर वेबसाइट सो दिस इज द डेमो एप्लीकेशन दैट वी विल बी बिल्डिंग इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल सो लेट मी इलस्ट्रेट द एप्लीकेशन देयर विल बी अ साइन इन विद ट्विटर बटन सो इफ आई प्रेस दिस बटन ए पॉप अप विंडो विल अपीयर आस्किंग फॉर द परमिशंस आई हैव ऑलरेडी ग्रांटेड द परमिशंस सो इट विल नॉट आस्क मी वंस अगेन सो इट विल रीडायरेक्ट me to the application so it will display my profile pic and the display name that is kautam sharma so you can see that this is the twitter profile pic and this is the name this information i am getting from the api twitter api and i am making use of firebase to it firebase authentication so for this specific purpose i have written a complete blog on my website the link of this blog is there in the video description you can just check the video description to go into this blog a step by step uh, blog is written with uh, images and uh, you can follow along and uh, all the source code is also embedded so you could just have to copy paste the source code you can see that it's a good reference to the video that you are watching so you can just read this blog also coming back to the video so the first thing that you want to do is that you go to uh, firebase console and uh, you need to create a brand new project or you can either add app to an existing project so i will be going to the firebase console so for this you need to be having a google account if you don't have a google account just create one and after that uh, sign up at firebase and create your first very first project i have created some projects so let me just uh, move on to that so you can see that these are my projects so let me just select this project here and the process of adding app is very easy so you can see that this is a button here just add a app here this will be a web application so you just click this button here web and you can just name your app anything you want let's suppose i want uh, twitter auth 123 and then register app after you click this button of register it will give you a firebase sdk script that you want to copy paste so just copy this script and uh, once again you need to open uh, i will be opening notepad here so just paste it this script we will be using it later on and for the time being just continue to console and uh, the next step is to set up the sign in method so just go to authentication here and after that just click on sign in method and after that in that as we are building the twitter authentication we need to select the twitter one so you can see that it is disable so to enable it just click the pencil icon and first of all ena enable it so the rest of the fields that you see is api key and api secret we will be uh, finding these two things by making a first of all an account on uh, twitter developer console so just go to google here and if you want to make any kind of app for twitter they have their developer program so just go to twitter developer developers so for that you need to be having a twitter account then you can just twitter developer account here so you can see that so first of all you need to go to the dashboard here developer here so this is my account here you can see that in order to create a new app here you first of all go to apps here so you can see that this is my apps here so in order to create a new app just click on create an app first of all you required to have a name of your app let's suppose i name it social auth 123 description is required this is a app which will feature twitter authentication so this is a description a website is also required so i will copy paste my website just enable sign in with twitter and the callback url is very important guys you need to be making sure that the callback url that firebase provides you 
just copy this URL and just copy paste this URL here paste it here this is a URL you are done terms of service not required privacy policy not required organization name let me name it my YouTube channel coding Siksha and uh, tell me how this app will be used so minimum characters under it so this app will be used to authenticate Twitter users on the website and the users will be able to perform Twitter operations something like that and then click the create button so create app name Gautam Sharma is already taken for name so you need to provide some other name here social auth one two three social auth so this is the name of the app here create so you can see that the app is created successfully and the most important thing to note is that we have the keys and tokens just go to that and this is the API key you need to copy paste here API key and the API secret key so this is a secret key that we need to paste here so as I am doing for example application so this I will not use for the production application so if you are using this for production I will highly recommend that don't share these information these informations are very much sensitive information and this will highly affect the security of your application so after doing this click on save and uh, you are all set and done with the including firebase with your project here so in the coding part go and uh, open your favorite text editor I am using visual studio code create a new file of twitter auth.html and write some basic HTML code here and uh, let me give a title of uh, Twitter auth and uh, in the body section after the body ends we need to copy paste the script where it was uh, the this was the initialization script of Firebase so from this we are including Firebase here so don't have to do anything just copy paste it after that we need to just import the authentication module also for that you need to go to here uh, Google and just type here uh, Firebase authentication in Twitter just type this and the first result which pops in the second result that is authenticate using Twitter in JavaScript just click this link and uh, just click this link again add firebase to your javascript project so there you will find a cdn which tells you that uh, this one we need to grab the cdn here script the auth authentication module that we need to grab and just after this app.js ends we need to just copy paste it here so you, you, we are all set it done guys so after that just move backwards and we will follow the documentation so the overall application that I developed is I am just reading the documentation and follow, following the steps so this is a great way by which you can just follow the documentation and develop your application also so first of all we need to create a provider object so in this case we are using Twitter so we need to make a Twitter auth provider so first of all before writing the custom script we need to just make a sign in button first of all so button let me give it as id of user sign in or just give a button here sign in with twitter and whenever this uh, let me give a on click attribute so whenever the button is clicked I need to perform this function sign in and uh, let me have two div sections here the first div section will be to display we to display the profile picture of the Twitter user so 
profile pic and the next div section will be to display the display name div section will be to display the display name of the twitter user so this will be div username so we are done with the html so let me just write the custom script here just after the script section where you include the firebase so this will be the custom script section we will be writing our code here so the first portion we will be making a provider object auth provider. so first of all we need to make a custom function here function sign in whenever the button is clicked this function will execute and in that function the very first line will be to create a provider object uh, variable and after that we can set some optional parameters we can just use the device language by using this code here firebase auth dot device language the third is you can just set some custom parameters but i will just copy paste these lines of code so this is responsible for the pop-up window which you see so whenever the pop-up is successful then it will receive the access token and the user we are inter interested in the user part so we will just console log user here in the console tab let me see if it runs or not let me go to the application and once again refresh so this time you will see that there will be a pop-up window appearing asking for the permissions that uh, you want to grant access to this application or not so just see here you will see that your account has been lo uh, locked so you can see that are you a robot my account was locked so that is why it was continue let me see what was the let me have a send code here you know how to unlock it 202 202 708 so this happens in twitter they optionally lock your account so that is why it was uh, so once again let me refresh this if I click sign in with the Twitter here, so it will definitely allow the permissions here. So just wait. So now you see that it is asking me the permissions that authorize social auth my app one two three to use your account. So it will read tweets from your timeline, see you who you follow and follow new people, updates your profile, post to tweets for you. So just authorize this app for once and uh, you will see that it will execute successfully and uh, if i inspect element and go to the console tab i will see a response let me just go to console here So you will see that first of all authorize app so it is asking let me see what is the problem here let me go to permissions here so read and write basically this is a process my app was work working as i already told you this app was working 
so you can just follow the blog here for a while so you can just follow the blog that I have shown you this is a blog the step by step instruction is given in this blog so in the moment it is not working but uh, the whole process I will I have shown to you in the demo of the video here so thanks very much guys for watching this video I will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much